Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Now, yesterday we worked on making this GUI spread across the entire screen, but when we clicked it again, it wouldn't do anything. Well, typically with GUIs, when you want to do something like maybe you have a shop menu that you want to have open up when they click a button, and then close when they click it again, typically what you want to do is make it the same button, and that's actually pretty easy. So let's get to that, if I can find my mouse here. Let's go to the storage UI, screen UI, text button, script. Now we're going to make another variable outside of the function, and we're going to call this open. Its initial value should be set to false. Why is it initially set to false? Well, because, it, let's look at the GUI. It's initially not all the way open. You can see it, but you can't. It's not taking up the entire screen. Okay? So, the fault, it's false. It's not open over the entire screen. That's what we're going to make the variable mean. You can, of course, do anything you want as long as it gets the job done. However, for me teaching, we'll do this. If not open then and inside of this if not open then which if you guys remember saying if not open then means if open equals false then do this because remember not means if this is not true so if not open then and at the end of this we want to set open to true okay another thing we want to do is make actually no and the next thing we want to do is else and then here in this else block we're going to worry about making it close back up we can actually copy a lot of this and let's actually move times through over to here so that it's outside of the ifs and it's universal now let's just copy this and we'll actually get rid of um no, actually we won't. We'll actually make it two more variables at the top here, outside of the function. One variable will be min width, which equals script dot parent dot size dot x dot scale, and min h, which equals script dot parent dot size dot double or er, dot y dot scale. And that's minimum width and minimum height, and that's what it is set to right now when it's not open when the game when it first loads. Okay, these are the initial values. So down here, we're actually going to change wc to be one minus min w and hc to one minus min h. And what that's doing is it's saying, okay, how much further do we have? before we get down to the minimum sizes which is what we should get back to when they click again so it's the same philosophy as last time basically then we're going through another loop and instead of adding the udim2 instead of adding it and making it bigger we're going to make it smaller so subtract it instead and for the script that parent that size equals udim2 that new thing change the ones to min w and min h respectively and change the open to equal false after we finish this and now we can go test our script now i'm going to show you guys it work and then i'm going to show you guys it sort of work but is something we need to fix as we round out the week all right i want a comment to fall right in here. boom Let's click this button. Works. Let's click it again. Works. Now let's click it twice fast. We broke the GUI. Didn't we? Because it started going crazy. Crazy. Almost as crazy as you if you don't like this video. But it was going crazy. How can we fix that? Well, it's called a debounce. The bounce is a boolean value, and it, you can make it true or false. Uh, let's just make one real quick. Debounce equals false to begin with. 
and as soon as it's clicked, you do a check if um, not debounce or debounce if you choose to have it true uh, in order to do this. I'll explain what a debounce is in just a second. Then debounce equals true at the end. Debounce equals false. All right. Now let me explain what a debounce is. A debounce is used to double check and make sure that the script isn't already running through that function. If it is, it doesn't want to disrupt it and run through the function t simultaneously two or three times at a time. It wants to run through it once and have no interruptions or changes that it can't measure and it doesn't know about. Best way to do that is to add a debounce. So you make the debounce, uh, you start out with some value that means the function isn't running. I use false typically. You make an if to make sure that the debounce variable equals that and then immediately after you change the debounce to be the opposite, in this case true, so that your function knows, oh, okay, it's not running correctly. And make sure that this debounce is set outside of the function or else it's always going to have that same initial value every time the function runs. And then at the end you set it back and you reset it to when the f function can run so that your game can continue. Hey, okay, sorry, had to take a break. I was being called to, you know, do those house chores and stuff. Who wants to do those? Um, but I took a quick t a second to reread our script, see how far I was, because I actually forgot. Sorry, guys, you do matter to me, just, the, just sometimes life gets in the way and I have a terrible memory. But when I was looking over the script, I found an error that we were most surely going to have to debug again, and then we were going to be all annoyed, and we were going to waste another 10 minutes of our lives, when all we need to do, see this debounce down here? No matter what, even if the debounce is currently not true, and even if the script is running, it's still going to set it to false, and thus reset itself. So we're actually going to have to cut it, paste it in here, before the if ends for the debounce. Otherwise, it's going to be a complete waste of time. So now we can test. And da -da 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 -da. now you guys get to see a working script instead of wasting some of your time. Alrighty, alrighty. So let's just click it twice normally. See if it expands, does everything correctly. There's no errors. It's working fine. Now let's click it and just go crazy and try and break our mouse. First one to break your mouse wins. GY didn't break. Yay! It works great. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or even the boo dislike boo button. The corresponding how you felt about this video. Now catch you guys later.